What's up YouTube? This is part two of the drop fade tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did the design you see here. We're going to look back at this devastating weekend. Look ahead for preparing the extraordinary damage this week of stormy weather. So I know designs can be a little intimidating, especially if you're a new barber. But like anything, all you really need is practice. Typically for a design, you're going to want to pick up some zero gap trimmers. Any should work, but for this case, I'm using my Low Pro FX, zero gap, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my corners to lay out what I think is gonna be the, the basic shape of this design. When sketching out a design, you don't wanna overthink it. You kinda wanna just let uh, your creativity go, you know, trust yourself. If you're already a creative person, maybe you got an artistic background, this might come a little easier. You know, you can probably just transfer those skills into haircutting. There's definitely positives and negatives about using a zero gap trimmer. One of the good things about having a laser sharp trimmer is that you'll deliver some pretty sharp lines. You know, if you want your corners to be really, really sharp and maybe you don't want to go over the design a lot of times, this is definitely going to come in handy. Personally, when using a trimmer like this, right before I go into carving in somebody's head, I usually test it out on my forearm or like the back of my hand, somewhere where skin is sensitive, just to make sure that you're not gonna be irritating your client's skin. The last thing you want is having a red beaming design and it just doesn't look professional. If you're doing a design and halfway you get like stuck, don't worry about it. Just try to break it down into lines and circles. It's literally lines and circles. If you can do a straight line and you can do a good circle or a curve, and just connect them and you know, make sure it's balanced out. You'll have a pretty clean design. Just try not to have like squiggly lines. One of the mistakes I did when I first started doing designs is I would make my lines too skinny and it just kind of looks like like if they weren't done on purpose. When you're first starting, you're gonna wanna go for simple designs. Something simple is usually more effective and that way you don't risk doing too much and totally overwhelming the side of somebody's head with your artwork and just ruining a haircut potentially. But just knowing Know when the design is at its end, you know, try to try to keep it simple. And it's up to you if you want to shave it. I like to personally, it just makes the design last a little longer, maybe a day or two, and it looks better, it looks cleaner. When using your straight edge, whether it's for a design or a beard or a lineup, you always want to take your time. The last thing you want to do is cut somebody. Use the corners of the blade, but don't dig in with the corner of the blade. You're gonna wanna be real careful with it. If you're scared to use the corner of your blade, a good way to practice, you can take a balloon, put shaving cream on it, and practice shaving it off with just the left and the right corners of your blade without popping it. After I'm done blading out the design, I'm gonna take a towel and wipe away any shaving gel and brush away any loose hairs. Don't be afraid to take a step back and look at your artwork, look for any spots that need to be corrected or enhanced. This next part of the haircut is optional, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and enhance this design using a Maintain Wax Pencil. It just brings out um, any light spots I wanna make a little darker 
and this type of enhancement doesn't last a couple days this usually will wash right off i do this more just to get a clear or a better picture my i've been wanting my content to you know really pop really stand out and i really want to showcase my skills so i've been using methods like this but when it comes to using a a type of enhancement that's gonna last a couple days there is things out there I also like to use a 245 airbrush with the 245 no drip uh, color enhancement they got like brown or black and it looks really natural as long as you keep it natural and that thing tends to last a couple days I will go ahead and put that airbrush in the description below for those of you that are interested and possibly a video on how I use that pretty soon What I like about this pencil is I can go ahead and put in a line and then if it looks too sharp or not natural, I just take my brush, you know, brush at it, kind of fade it down a little bit, smudge it, if you will. But as you guys can see, this design is really coming along. I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, tap at my boy's lineup, getting in the last details before finishing up this haircut. If you're trying to make extra money, designs will definitely get that in your pocket this is extra time that you're spending on somebody's haircut and i don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to charge a little extra whether it's five bucks or 35 or 40 whatever your price range may be you can definitely charge more well guys that is it for this tutorial i really appreciate you guys tapping in if you guys learned anything please like comment subscribe hit that like button it really helps out guys and if you haven't already follow my ig Appreciate all 51 of you subscribers trying to hit 100 by the end of this month. Peace.